Hey everybody, this is Meister Blue back with more Aura Kingdom with my character Nymphoria. My demons aren't here, so I'm gonna summon them all back into play. So yes, last time we were gathering, we gathered all the blood. Now we just need to get some mushrooms for this this old man whose voice I've forgotten. I think he was talking kind of like this. <coughs> oh god, I need some water. I really do need some water. I cannot do that voice right now. My voice is my throat is kind of dry. Maybe that'll help. Got some mushrooms. So basically just picking up the shrooms for the old man. He he wants them shrooms. He really does. He wants them, I think, for a potion that we're crafting. Can't be positive. Quest conditions complete. I want my scythe to be out at all times. It goes away after a little while. He grins as you hand him the wild mush. I bet he does. Perfect. These are the Scandia's most ne most unique mushrooms. You are truly an excellent assistant. Yay! Level up. Yeah, level five. Good. Put <coughs> good. Put them together and give them a good. A good what? Um, more speed. Yes. A good grind. Then mix in this medicine, bottle it, and we're done. Easy, eh? I'll let you try this bottle of refreshing potion. Trust me, it'll make you feel better. The voice isn't raspy enough now. Wait until your mind stabilizes, then please send the potion to the lumberjacks. Alright, so just deliver them to the lumberjacks, I guess. Should be like right over there. That's where the. Oh, it's a toolbox. What's that all about? You can use this quest item. Drink it and you will feel refreshed. I'm scared. I am terrified. Oh, I am not refreshed. You, your chest feels extremely uncomfortable. Yeah, it's not refreshed at all, dude. How? Oh, I can zoom into first person mode. Yeah! Oh god, I kind of want to keep the camera closed, but I'm kind of... The UI is bit like heavy let's see if I can do anything about that system settings let's see if I can do something about the UI and make it smaller scaling there we go I can make the UI smaller that's good continue that gives me a little more breathing room not much but it's it's enough I got an axe okay I don't know what that needs or I don't know what that's about move these back over. Yeah, I wonder if I get access to more demons later on, or more like... Are they demons? Yep, demons. I wonder if I get more access to, access to more demons in the future. That would be pretty awesome. Something strange is happening to your body. You can feel the potion pumping through your every vein, and you also feel rather nauseous. You quickly explain, you quickly explain the symptoms to Cal. What? That medicine shouldn't have had any side effects. Let me take a closer look. Why do you feel dizzy? Could you be allergic to the medicine? Here, look. How many fingers am I holding up? Twenty. You suddenly feel faint. Hey, Nymphoria, what happened? Maybe we ought to induce vomiting. You take in a deep breath to control the dizziness. Your body feels begins to feel lighter as you fill your lungs with clean air. Something's appeared next to you, and, um, it's getting brighter. You turn and see a light orb floating next to you. It emits a faint blue light. You have a feeling it was it was the cause of your dizziness. You immediately ask Cal what's happening. As you speak, the blue light reacts as though it's answering your questions and beginning and begins hovering around your body. This is just a bottle of refreshing potion. I can't it can't make this kind of thing happen. I don't understand. I've never seen anyone react this way to my medicine. Awkward silence hangs in the air. After a moment, Cal takes in a deep breath. All I can say is, um, Nymphoria, don't worry. You'd better go to the statue at the statue ruins right away. Find the witch's assistant, Flower. Perhaps she can give an explanation. Cool. Don't I have to take my quest? Or don't I have to... Oh, I don't have to take it to the lumberjacks just yet. Press the space bar. There's the glide ability. Oh, yeah. Oh, God, it's so cool. Let's see, I, I saw in the video that I watched that you can like eventually like get like an endless loop of gliding yeah like that oh god that's awesome that's awesome I can swim 
If World of Warcraft had this feature, my god, you guys. My god. I think I can about do it about twice. Alright, so where is this here witch? A spirit appeared next after you drank the medicine. Cal suggests you visit the statue ruins to the west. To the west. To the west. Everything you own is at the ruins to the left now. Oh, you! You're dead! Oh, you're just- you're gone. You're just flat out gone. No- no doubt about that. I got sent flying back. Yeah, I don't even care. You guys are just straight up dead. Hopefully I got something good for beating this guy, otherwise- otherwise, eh, the revenge should be enough. Whoop. Hop out of the red. He's dead! And I got boots! Oh god. Yeah, I'm gonna have to turn the UI back up. The UI... It's not taking up as much space now, but it's also too small, so... Systems... UI... Scaling... 90%... That should... Oh, that should be good for now. Continue. Sweet! Bags! I got boots! Evasive green grass long boots. Ooh. Alt to hide the information. Oh, hide the detail information. And the green grass grows all around, all around. Those are actually pretty good boots. <laughs> Much better than what I'm wearing. Once equipped, they can't be used by anybody else. Sweet. Cannot be traded. Cannot store in warehouse. Why not try this axe on a nearby tree? Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. All right. So he said the ruins are to the west. Pull up my map. Statue ruins, they're that way, okay. Onward! That person's riding an ostrich! They're level 8! But I can glide! I can sing! Woo! Statue ruins. Petal fairies. <gasps> I don't want to kill the fairies, they're pretty! I love that glide. That's so cool. You appear in front of Flower. The look on her face betrays an overwhelming sense of hum of horror. You too? Flower murmurs to herself as she stares at the light orb. It seems that the mysterious light orb is reacting to you and the people nearby. This perplexes you even more. Am I I'm level six. Wow, I'm leveling up fast. I can't. I can't remember what the cap was when I when I was looking up. It's they said that it was about sixty or forty. I think one of those two. Sweet, I get another on voice path. I'm gonna do more more damage. And crit attack speed more attack speed or ooh a exp gained. I like that. I'll do the health. Sweet, give me a little bit more health, and hopefully I'll be able to unlock the quick study here in a bit. Confirm. Awesome. You tell Flower everything that's happened and beg for assistance. If I can't help you, I'm more than if I can help you, I'm more than willing to do so. I've seen something like this before. There was a spirit, a light orb, following me, but hearing that the same thing had happened to Flower sparks hope in your heart. However, you notice that she is focused on a machine in your hands. Something happened a while ago. Elena needed me to decipher the runic letters on the statue. She said it was urgent, but she never explained why. However, her, her request has proven excessively difficult. The first time I translated the spell, it was stolen. Now the fairies nearby won't let me anywhere near the stone statue. First, I need you to help me get rid of those pesky petal fairies and forest fairies. Only then can I freely research the, for clues about, about the stone statues. Alright, I guess I do gotta slaughter them. Mm, makes sense, I am Grim Reaper of Darkness. this attacks. I just like swing my scythe and dark energy, madness, chaos energy comes soaring out. Pulling all the enemies. Can I tab to the enemy? Yes I can. I can tab to enemy, of course. Makes things so much easier. So that's, I think, enough petal fairies. Now I need forest fairies. These ones are a bit 
tougher because they're higher level. Oh god, I'm having such a great time with this. All the experience points. All the experience! I'm so glad you're here to help. Otherwise, I'd never be able to decipher these runes. Just as you were about to speak, a black shadow suddenly races over over to you. Both you and Flower shriek in surprise. It's an ostrich! Uh, it doesn't seem to be afraid to get close to you. Huh. For a moment, you have no idea to react. Hey, Beebus, come! Beebus? This is Beebus, one of Elena's ostriches. He's a bit shy. Then he's pacing around. Cool. Ugh, forget it. I just, I have far more important things to do. Beebus continues to stay at your side, watching your every move. It seems very interested in the light orb. This is useless. There's no translation book for ancient spells. I can't possibly decipher all these. Heck, these runes aren't even complete. Some of them are mostly worn off. You find small mounds all over the place. Broken pieces of slate are buried beneath the, the beneath them. You report your findings to Flower. Wow, some fragments of the ruins must be buried under these mounds. Hurry, help me dig. This most The most important information is carved on these fragments. You ask Flower what she plans to do about these about the ancient spell translations. Even if you collect all the shards, she still not, might not be able to decipher them. I suppose you're right. I have two choices. I can defeat the ruins, the ruins giants, stole the translation information, or I can spend a few days translating the ancient spells in Neve. Neve. I think is what it's supposed to be. It sounds like the first choice would be much quicker. You ask Flower where you can find the Ruins Giants. You want to take out that beastly thing? He dwells within the Ruins Cave, not far from here. But you'd better be careful. Beavis, come here. Don't get in Emphoria's way. Awesome. I'd like to slay a giant. Woo! Ah, oh, this, uh, this is the most beautiful thing. This is the, the greatest. Alright, is this the Ruins? Ruins Cave. That was really quick loading, too. Just wanted to get a little, a little heads up of the uh, music. Uh, you know what? I'm also going to do some UI thing. I'm going to see display stuff. Um, Alright, that should work. Yeah, that got rid of the names and everything. Oh, I do a little skip back. Got rid of the names and everything above me and my allies' heads. Just gives us a little more space. I might have to turn the monsters' ones back on because the monsters I do have to, like, actually click on and target. So I'll do that. Um, yeah, and NPCs. Continue. Alright, gotta beat this guy down. Time to slay him. Oh, he's not as tough as I thought he was. Or as I thought he would be. I'm gonna circle strafe him to death. This is my strategy. That's Dark Souls has trained me well. Circle strafing is always winning. Except for Dark Souls 2 when they have the overhead attack thing. I automatically used another potion. Why does that happen? Ooh, ooh I got I got armor too. Ice Tusk Ice Tusker Light Armor. Oh god, that's way better than what I have. Jesus Christ. I lose my plus one uh, percent damage bonus, but I'm like specked into damage, so that's all good. Sweet. And it doesn't make my character look different, which is awesome. At least I don't think it does. Nope, I don't see any difference. That's good. That means costume pieces take priority. That's what I love to see. I love to see that. You can't use glide in instances. Go turn this quest in, and that should be it for this video, because I gotta go to school. I'm I'm super excited about these videos, you guys. You have no idea. Like, I've, I've like got half an hour between work and school, and I'm like, you know what I'm gonna do in that half hour? I'm gonna play this! Heck yeah, I am! Alright, uh, find the relic. Oops, I don't think I got the... I don't think I got the item I needed. Unless it's here. Translated information cannot trade. Oh god, I'm gliding too far! <laughs> god, you can like infinitely glide as long as the floor goes down. I didn't find the missing piece from the mound. Uh, it's my problem. Hopefully he respawned and I can get some more experience for killing him. Yeah, he did! Yeah! 
one thing I'm noticing a slight issue with, it's not even an issue, it's just a nitpick, is that I can't, like, with World of Warcraft, click both mouse buttons to make my character run forward, which gives me an extra finger for casting spells when I rush into an attack. That's my only, like, nitpick, and seriously, I can live without it. It's, it's all good. Yeah, I got a coat. I could just farm this guy for, for armor. All right, where's the mound? And experience, he gives me quite a bit. Doesn't seem to be much for my level, though. Where's the mound? Huh. So I guess I didn't need to come back in here. I'll do the violent green thing, it gives me more damage. I don't see the mound. Okay, maybe the mound is like somewhere outside. Because it's Sick. Good quest thing. Alright, where is that mound? Oh, there's mounds over here. Oh, look at that. Didn't even notice. Didn't even notice. I'm a dummy. Picking up some relic fragments, and hopefully this quest will let me level up to seven. That would be awesome. You hand over everything you found, including the relic fragments, fr fragments, fragments to flower. You also give her the secret translated information. Well, at least I, we, at least we found most of the fragments. Let me see. This part should go here, and that one must be placed here. Ah, it fits together like a puzzle. I can finally decipher the message inscribed in the statue. Awesome. Yeah, mount, mount. I can get a mount, you guys. Oh. Ride your mount, right click on the mount icon in your inventory. I have a mount. I have Beavis the Ostrich! And I can level up again. Uh, more damage. I'll be super DPS. Do you really want to know? It means that a hero who will save the world will be born here, but it also says the hero could become a demon that could destroy the very fabric of our universe. Not long ago, a teenage boy named Brian came looking for Elena. Just like you, he, had al he also had a spirit with him. He firmly believed that he was cursed by an evil spell, and he wanted to ask Elena for help. But the next day, Brian's personality completely changed. He shattered everything in Elena's place and snapped her staff in two. I'm telling you this because you must stay vigilant. It's clear that Beavis doesn't want to see you as a dangerous person. Brian fled to the forest. The village garrison is investigating this case right now. Maybe garrison member Willie will have some clues. You nod, planning to ask Willie directly. When you turn to leave, Beavis grabs your sleeve which, with its beak and gently pulls you back. Hmm. Nymphoria, it looks like you'll have to take Beavis with you. Perhaps he can serve as your mount for now. Elena won't mind if you take him out for a trip, I'm sure. Yes! Mounts! Alright, I need to move potions to, like, four. I'll put my mount... I'll put the demon stuff right there. put my mount right there. I have my glide ability already set, so I don't need that on my action bar at all. 10 ton drop. Become ultra dense for just long enough to hurtle towards the ground. Oh, okay. So that's a gliding thing. It lets you drop immediately by pressing S twice. That's cool. Beavis the ostrich! I summon thee! Yeah! Yeah! Oh my god! I got an ostrich! Oh, I can't glide with the ostrich. I don't know if I want to use the mount or just glide everywhere. Gliding is fun, you guys. Yeah! Alright, I'm gonna head myself back into town and that will be it for this video. My god, this game has got me hooked. It's got me hooked like nothing else, you guys. Oh, wrong way. Go that way. Oh god, I'm loving this. Oh no, I'm lagging a bit going into town. So many characters are probably loading up. Oh god, this is great, you guys. I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I'm enjoying it, because I'm really enjoying it. And, of course, just like every other time, I will see you all in the next video. So until then, peace out! Yeah.